All right, now that we've uh, can handle some requests to our server from a uh, any kind of front end, uh, we need to start thinking about cores. Uh, so if you're a web developer already, sort of playing around with Rust and Axum, you you probably know what cores is and know it's essentially how to mitigate it. But if you're new to web development, uh, this is, this is going to be something that might trip you up. Cores is a security feature implemented for browsers uh, and a backend, so our server, is in charge of setting it up. Basically, from the 100,000 foot view, uh, the server tells the browser, hey, you're allowed to do this. Uh, you can use a post request to this route, uh, but in your origin, your URL has to be this. So for example, if you're on localhost, you can make a post request, but only to slash whatever. Um, that is, you know, that is an example of like a cores uh, setup. They come in headers and then an option request is usually sent behind the scenes uh, for you. You on the front end don't need to worry about that at all. And setting up those headers uh, to respond and our routes manually kind of sucks, um, which is why it's better to use some kind of uh, library or crate or, or something that's going to set it up for us. To that end, let's go ahead and uh, search to see what, what is available for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the documentation. I've actually already got my server started, so let's open up another window here. And do cargo doc, open that up, grab the URL, and come over to Firefox. And I'm actually already here. Uh, okay, so in Axum, we're looking for middleware. Middleware is a little bit of custom logic that's going to run in the middle between uh, when the request comes in and when it starts going to our, uh, our route handlers. So that's exactly where we want. We want to run the core stuff before everything else happens. So we go to middleware. Uh, and then we go to see middleware for more details. Great. Now, a lot of this is gonna be writing custom middleware and that's not necessarily what we want to do here. There is a commonly used middleware section here. So we wanna to go to that next. Uh, and then finally, we have a cores layer. Well, perfect, that's exactly what we want. So if we click on that, um, this takes us to Tower HTTP. Well, I, uh, this would actually give you an error when you first get here. I, uh, I kind of forgot to uh, delete this from my local system um, uh, before recording the video. You would actually not get this at all because this is taking you to tower. Well, why is it taking us to tower? Let's, let's head back a little bit and uh, go to the middleware section. So in the intro, it, it actually just tells us uh, Axum doesn't actually implement a custom middleware system on its own. Instead, it uses Tower's middleware system. Um, now, if you're coming from Node.js and you're using Express, this might uh, remind you of how Node, or sorry, Express allows you to use any, what was it, like common or, I forget what that was, what Express was based on but uh, there's a certain type of middleware that you could just use at, with any of those basic uh, backends. It's exactly the same here. So any tower-based middleware, regardless if it's made for Axum, will work in Axum. Now, that being said, well, how do we go get middleware from, from tower? We have to install tower HTTP. And we notice that here is tower-http. Uh, if I click on that, it actually takes me to the crates page. So this is what we would want to install. So I'll go ahead and even though I've already done this, we're gonna install this again. We're gonna do cargo add tower HTTP. And something really important is that we need this cores feature. 
Now this chorus feature is not automatically added in for us. Uh, you're gonna have to add that in yourself. So if I go into our cargo Tomo, we'll actually see Tower HTTP here with the feature cores. So make sure that you add that in with the dash capital F. But once you've added that in, recompiled the documentation, we can now go back to commonly used middleware, cores layer, and it will take us to the appropriate documentation here. So how do we actually use this? Well, it kind of shows us. We're just going to do a cores layer new, set the allowed methods, set the allowed origin. So this is going to be telling Axum to set the headers that then tells the browser, hey, you're allowed to use this backend, or maybe you're not allowed to use this backend. Give a cores error. OK, let's go ahead and set this up ourselves. So uh, before I actually set it up, let's show that we're not getting any uh, any of these headers. I'm just going to come back to the last one we were doing, which was this mirror user agent. Hit send. Um, now, if you're not seeing the response over here on the right and you're just seeing it maybe down at the bottom, uh, I can't, I haven't figured out a way to actually see where the headers, the response headers are when it's in this smaller state. So you might need to make everything a little bit bigger so that way you can see the response headers. And in this case, we're not seeing anything about, about cores in here. Uh, it's going to look a little bit different, a little bit strange. Um, it's basically cross origin, uh, the cross origin allowed methods and, um, and allowed origins. It's it's very it's very um, verbose. But I'll show you what they look like once we add them in. So that's going to be the next thing. Let's go. So mirror user agents. Let's go find mirror user agent. Actually, I don't even need to be in here at all, do I? Uh, I want to be in mod. So we're going to add in the course headers to every path here. So no matter what we hit, it's going to hit, it's going to return those headers. So right here, we're going to do let cores equals cores, was it cores layer? It was cores layer. Cores layer, new, and then we're going to add in um, allowed methods, and and it, as you can see here, we have a lot of uh, options here. We can allow what credentials are allowed to use. We can even allow what headers are allowed to be set in. We're going to just can put in allow methods, and I want a um, I want a post. Uh, do, this is showing a method get, so let's do method. Uh, we are using a get here, so this is going to be fine. Um, if I wanted to add in another one, it's just, uh, actually, this should be, I believe, an array. So let's add that in. Array, and we want maybe a method post also. And then we want allow origins. And uh, we want to allow everything from all, which is a little bit hard to find out here. Oh, sorry, it's any, any origin, not all origins. Any. That gives us this uh, cores layer. And then we're going to use the layer method here and then add in course and that's it that's how we've now added cores that we've set up here as a middleware function here now the order that middleware happens is a little bit odd you notice i put this at the bottom if you're coming from i mean almost every other back-end framework that i've ever used uh the routes actually um happen from top to bottom is therefore you have to have the middleware at the top. But it's kind of the opposite here in Axum world. Uh, we actually want to put the, uh, the layer at the bottom, which will affect all the routes 
above it. All right, so let's head over here. And if I hit send again, we now have this origin access control request method, access control request headers, um, and access control allow origin. This is that any. Uh, this is telling now a browser, if it were to look at this, uh, that it can request and find out more information. Notice it's not actually saying that it's um, a get and a post method. It actually sends a options request first to the back end to find out, hey, can I do this thing? And then after that, if it can, it does the real request. Now, another note is cores is only for browsers, really. Uh, here on, um, here in Thunder Client, uh, it doesn't really care because it's not a browser. This is this is just code running on a back end. If you're using something like Postman or Curl, it also doesn't care about these at all. But once again, it's really just browsers. Uh, but it is still important to have it because there's a lot of security implications uh, when you don't have any sort of cores protection. Uh, okay, so. Uh, that is how we add in cores middleware, or at least also middleware created by somebody else into our system and wrap it around all of our, um, all of our routes. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.